Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Jason here. In my previous video about equal length headers versus unequal length headers, I briefly mentioned how equal length headers allow for a twin scroll turbo setup to be implemented. However, what actually is a twin scroll turbo? In this video, we'll be going over what that is and what are the advantages and disadvantages of such a setup. Before we get into today's video, I want to ask if you guys could please subscribe to the channel as it's free, it helps me out a lot, and if you guys want to enjoy my content, you can simply unsubscribe for free as well. Thanks guys! Anyways, on with the video. So, what is a twin scroll turbo? Firstly, let's start with how a turbo works, to make sure you guys understand the rest. Basically, a turbocharger uses the exhaust gases coming out of the exhaust manifold to spin a turbine wheel connected to a compressor wheel that compresses air and forces air into the engine, otherwise known as boost. Majority of turbocharger setups in the past used a single scroll turbo. With a single scroll turbo, all of the gases coming through the exhaust manifold goes into a collector, which collects all the exhaust gases from each cylinder and feeds them into the turbine wheel through a single duct or scroll. The advantage of a single scroll turbo is that it is simple, easy to manufacture, and is more compact. However, when those exhaust gases go through the collector into the turbine wheel, there is turbulence or interference between the different exhaust gas pulses as they collide with each other. When each cylinder combusts and releases the exhaust gas, they have a pressure wave from the combustion. This pressure wave ends up colliding with each other in the collector, which reduces the strength of those pressure waves and reduces the energy from the exhaust gas pulse once it enters the turbine inlet. This then leads to increased turbo lag, which hurts performance and efficiency. Some examples of cars with a single scroll turbo are the WRX STI and the Mark IV Supra. Twin scroll turbos on the other hand are very different. For one, they have two different slots or scrolls on the turbine inlet. In order to do this, the exhaust manifold also has to split the exhaust gases. In a 4 cylinder engine with a firing order of 1, 3, 4, and 2, the exhaust gases from the first and fourth cylinders are grouped together and the exhaust gases from the second and third are grouped into a separate pipe. These two separate exhaust pipes on the manifold carry the two pulses into the turbine inlet. By splitting the exhaust gas pulses, there is less interference with each pulse, which leads to a stronger pressure wave. The turbine wheel takes advantage of those two separate pressure waves by having two scrolls that feed into the turbine. By splitting the two exhaust gas pulses, the turbo spools up more quickly and is able to build boost at low RPMs. However, there is less space for gas to flow at high RPMs since the gases have to be in separate channels. Additionally, twin scroll turbo setups are much more complicated, expensive, and less compact. However, the ability to spool up at much lower RPMs are why manufacturers are switching over to twin scroll turbos despite their downsides. Cars with twin scroll turbos include the Mark V Supra, BMW 335i, 2015 and up Super WX, 911 turbos, and etc. To recap, single scroll turbos only take advantage of the thermal and kinetic energy of the flowing exhaust gases to spool up the turbo, whereas twin scroll turbos take advantage of the thermal and kinetic energy and also take advantage of the exhaust gas pulses created by the combustion of fuel. Like I said, single scroll turbos are simpler, cheaper, and take up less space while also having better performance at high RPMs, thanks to the bigger single passage or scroll. However, they have poor low RPM performance and are generally less efficient, especially on economy cars where low end torque is much more important. Twin scroll turbos on the other hand are much more efficient thanks to the benefit of using the pressure waves. This leads to much less turbo lag which means better low RPM performance and fuel economy. The downside of them is that they are less efficient at high RPMs thanks to the decreased size for gases to flow through and are much more expensive and complicated to make. However, it can't be denied that twin scroll turbos are definitely the way to go. Here is an experiment done by DSport Magazine where a single scroll setup is compared to a twin scroll setup. As shown in this graph, the twin scroll turbo shown by the blue line has a massive advantage at the mid-range. As the table shows, its peak difference was at 5000 RPM, where it actually made 61 more horsepower. Despite the aforementioned disadvantage of a smaller flow passage on twin scroll turbos, the twin scroll turbo setup actually made 15 more peak horsepower. However, the more important part is how much power it made at the mid-range, or in other words, how much turbo lag the twin scroll turbo eliminated. This experiment done by DSport is a very interesting read, so I highly recommend you check it out for yourself. A link of it can be found in the description. Anyways, hope you guys found this video helpful and entertaining at the same time. If you did, please do leave a like. Other than that, please do subscribe as that helps me out a lot. 
and comment down below if you have any video suggestions or critiques with this video. Either way, that's all for now. Stay safe and see you in the next video. Explore